Yo, what's up? It's your boy coming to you with another review. Netflix, Selena the Series Part 2. I binge watched that today. Today is Cinco de Mayo. Nine episodes and you know, you you knew what this was leading to. Um, I really, really enjoyed part one. A lot of people have problems with it because of the obvious wigs and stuff like that. But you know, it is what it is. Budgets, restraints, um, Hollywood involvement. See, this was not a documentary. This was an actual mini series. So they take liberties. Uh, they said the family had a lot to do with the input of this mini series. So I don't know what's Hollywood and what's new that's factual. But part two, I didn't like it as much as part one. Maybe because I didn't know nothing about Selena when she was a little kid growing up. You know, my first introduction to Selena in my life when she won the Grammys. I'm like, oh, who's that? You know, oh, that's cool. Okay. And then next thing I heard about her was fatally being murdered by gun wound by her supposed friend and confidant and business partner. And like the world, I was shocked. I'm like, what? And then I learned more about Selena. Um, part two, it was some cool facts that I did learn. Um, apparently Beyonce, her mom and sister ran into Selena when she was young and got a chance to meet her and like, wow, you know, mom, look at her. That's a big time singer. She's a superstar, which catapulted, you know, Beyonce to be who she is today. You know, some of it. Um, you learn more about Chris and her relationship. They eloped. They went and got married at the courthouse um, before she was um, murdered. She had just talked to her mom and sister about, you know, I'm going to go and see the doctor. I'm ready to start bearing children. We want to build our own house on this land, do my last tour, get pregnant in between that, have the baby before I go on another tour with a new English album. Um, she did win a Grammy for best live album, Spanish Latin album. Um, you know, it was cool how the father and the family accepted Chris, even though they hated his ass <laughs> in part one, not the family, but the dad, you know, dads are protectors of their little girls, but they finally got married. He accepted him as his son. Welcome to the family type thing. The sister got married. So this mother and father seeing all three of their kids get married you know the brother is the only one that had children um selena was still young in her marriage and her sister just got married to bill it was cool how they owned a house next door and his dad got selena and chris to move in there keep his family close man you know it was the one thing i learned in this mini series they were a great loving family whether you're white black asian latino indian this portrayal of a family and to see them always stick together no matter what was beautiful rather if you knew of selena or just found out about her how could you not fall in love with this woman she was full of joy, full of love. She trusted everybody. That's who she was. And for some reason on this God's earth, good people constantly get hurt, get taken advantage of, and even worse, lose their life because they trusted somebody. That woman stole from her, supposedly her number one fan, and you know the tragic ending. Now, it did get a little Hollywood when the portrayal of the lady that killed her, when they first meet the, you know, the father feels like hell. He introduced this woman to his daughter and this woman took her life. But the Hollywood version of it, you know, they made it look like a villain. She was crumbling up paper and posters whenever Selena would make friends with somebody else. The jealousy thing in her bedroom she had selena posters everywhere you know that might be factual but hollywood had a part of this 
And being a critic, um, talking about film, there is some criticism with this film. The obvious green scene, only when they drive. <laughs> I don't understand that. But whenever they do driving scenes and they're talking in the car, it's an obvious green scene. I mean, green screen. Um, there's choices of lighting that the cinematographer did. I just don't understand. I guess they're trying to portray her as an angel. So whenever there was bright lights coming through the, the blinds, Selena's face would light up. It was bright and it was obvious because it didn't match the other person she was talking to. It was a little off-putting. That's the some criticism I had. Um, the, oh man, it, it, no matter what, man, at the last two episodes, eight and nine, you just get busted up inside because you know what's coming. But it was tastefully directed how they handled the murder scene. They didn't show it. You got the perspective of the people working at the hotel. You have the, you have the landscaper guy. You have the, the housekeeper cleaning one of the rooms and she was folding some linen and carrying some stuff across her and she heard a gunshot and dropped everything. Simultaneously, when the father and son is having breakfast, the son drops his spoon on the floor simultaneously when Selena is shot. You know, that is really great directing to make you feel the impact. Um, the phone call to Q Productions and the secretary answered the phone and yelled as Abraham was coming home with his son, finding out that his daughter was fatally shot. They hop in a car and they rush over to the hospital. He's fighting to get in. The brother is stunned. It's for such a sad situation. That's a true story. Part nine, episode nine was uh, beautifully directed how to handle the death of Selena. I applaud their directing. It was beautiful. And they made a choice not to ever show the real Selena. And I thought that was kind of cool because normally in documentaries, they always show the real person and things like that. But this choice, even the movie with um, Jennifer Lopez, at the end, they showed the real Selena. In this one, they kept the actress that portrayed her camera on her even at the last shot when her sister said hey and took a picture of her and she was wearing white like an angel and she ran off into the dark and just faded away and disappeared i thought that was very tasteful very very tasteful i enjoyed it um people had their criticisms of part one i don't know why maybe because the way it was portrayed with the green screen and the and the wigs maybe that's why they complained about it but this is a beautiful woman with a beautiful heart who left a body of work that was taken from us too soon at the age of 23. She did so much. She went back to the schools and talked to children. When the person stealing money from her and the fan club, the father got in touch with those people, got them their fan club memberships, um, invited them to Houston, Texas, for a live performance of Selena and they got free tickets and was invited. It, it, man, the, the family was incredible, man. The great ones are always taken from us at a young age. That's just the way it is. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Selena the Series Part 2. Give it a watch. Uh, love to hear your thoughts down below. Leave me comments. As, as always, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and tell all your friends, and leave your comments down low. And I'm out. Peace. And remember, it's just my point of view.